Bye. Yeah. But it working. <laughs> I was like, huh? What's going on? Awesome. I'm glad. I got all these stairs that I'm just gonna sort before I get Cinder Crow out fully. <laughs> I put in the makeup on today because I had a thing that I filmed and um yes. Yeah, I bet because everyone's speeds are different. I didn't do the Vegemite one, I did the, I did the Milo one. I haven't found a Vegemite one yet. Uh, but I will. <laughs> Mom and Dad thought it was real weird while I was doing the, the Milo thing. <laughs> I guess I can say it out. Stairs. What is stairs? That's better. Oh, this must be in the way. Now, so I'm not even using. There we go. That's better. <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, that's fair. Get enough sleep for that. <laughs> what are you doing in the city? Like picking up stuff for work? Oh, union meeting. That's important. I guess they have to be early. Because it's got to be like before work. Yeah. Oh, true. Probably because he's like, yeah. Are you the union delegate for the place? The place that you do the work. Yeah. And your manager's probably like doing stuff on the sly or something <laughs> that he doesn't want you to know about, maybe. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you do too much for your work, I can tell. Oh, those ones are too. Huh. It just didn't want you to go. <laughs> sneaky manager. Very, very sneaky. Mm. Sounds like he's up to something. Sounds like it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
That's bad. Just hire more staff so there's less workload. Surely that can't cost more. You're still using like the same hours. Or does he need to give more hours for the jobs that you're doing? Yeah, not your problem. You're doing the right thing. Over there. Send a cool box can go. my little fidget cube. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, did you? So they're probably like um a bit shitty with you. <laughs> Is that what that one is? I love all the shout outs that you're doing. I love because like um, I was able to just like type in that YouTube shortcut the other night to be like, yeah, this is pretty much what I've been up to. Oh, you mean the bot on Discord? Yeah, that's awesome. Ah, oh, that's cool. So it'll tell all the people in my other server that I'm in, which is supposed to be for D and D. Um, it's a ter Terry Cruiser server. It'll tell them that I'm doing a thing. And if they want to watch me doing this, they can as well. Or just people from Twitch. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, Cyndaquil looks nice and easy. Look at this. Compared to um, Charizard. This one is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hey Kinky, how you doing? Get rid of Charles this. I've got like my brother and like all his friends in that other server. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, I did a bit of a filming for like a cover that I've done. Like I did a bit of like a video clip for it, just like DIY. So I put some makeup on. When I look a bit more like a girl. And I love wearing my pixie ears. I wish that like I can't wait to get them pointed for reels. I'll almost be sad because it'll, they won't be as big, but I'll just tuck my hair behind my ears now. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I um, I always cheer up when I jump on here at the end of the day. It's like, that's my favourite part of the day. I had a lot of weird, like, anxious energy all day today, so I was just, like, trying to keep busy. Yeah, no, but like it, I need to stay away from my phone when I get like that because otherwise I just sit there and I get more frustrated. So 
I do need to like actually do things with my hands if you know what I mean. It does get better when I'm chatting to Sky. That's that is for real. So and when like the daylight savings stuff happens for I think it's America where bread is, I'm gonna jump on earlier and do like an earlier stream, even if it's like every second day or something. So yeah. Oh, yeah, I hate workload. It's almost like when I get like that, like it's too much. But on here it's different. It's just like, oh, that's awesome. That's a nice dress. And, yeah, here I am in makeup but still in my like baggy T-shirts and stuff. Oh, it's very nice. A very nice dress. <laughs> I've seen pictures. Um, okay. Cinderquill. I'm sure Sky will post a, a photo of it on YouTube. I mean, not on YouTube, on Discord. <laughs> If you ask politely, because it's pretty. And yeah, like putting on makeup, like sometimes it's frustrating, but sometimes it does make you feel better. I guess because I haven't worn makeup for months. Yeah, that is a good idea. Like a, a selfie slash like outfit of the day, like hashtag ooted. I used to do that all the time when I worked at Dangerfield. That's like um, kind of like our version of Hot Topic, but it's gone a bit less alternative these days. This one goes in there. And that one goes behind. But yeah, selfie channel would be a good idea for show. Yeah, I did for the first time in like months. I filmed like a little bit of a video to go with the cover that I was making. So I thought like I played the cover without makeup and filmed it live. And then I was like, it needs a bit more than that. So put some makeup on. And then I did a bit of a like DIY video clip to it. <laughs> you kitty was like, hey, you're going to miss out on the makeups. <laughs> That's a way too intuitive in a good way. Like I had all this like. Yeah, nervous, anxious energy that I had to burn today by just, like, doing all the things. And Wednesday was just sitting there like, what you doing? Why why you, why you feel like this? Yeah, how you doing, Brett and Clubber Dang? And Kinky, I think I asked you that. Just making sure I didn't miss anybody. Now those three go like that. There's my pen. No pen in there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, dream team. Yeah, having a chill before you go to sleeps. I just did a funny TikTok before. If anyone, like, my TikTok is emo pixie as well. If anybody wants to uh, check that out, I'll post it on YouTube tomorrow probably. Probably. But it was, like, related to the <laughs> – thank you, Sky. Um, it was related to our Milo conversation Yeah, exactly. 
It just like, yeah, it's it's good vibes and it just like no matter how I feel beforehand, I just feel better after. Okay, step two is a little bit like what? But this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I'll put it on YouTube tomorrow and hashtag. So shorts. I, I thought it was short, but shorts like the shorts that you wear. Yeah, selfie channel. Get that dress selfie in there. Oh, they want clear ones there. Uh -huh. So, okay, before I do that, I've got to do these two, these, and the four. There. There. There and there. And then a four. And then they should all sit nice. Sit nicely, then, as well. Behave. Hmm. Yeah. What's everyone been up to today so far? Yeah. Very satisfying. Like what little bit? I don't see the guys at the top. The guys at the top. Yeah, Pikachu, Penguin, Lucky Cat. Oh well, they're not gonna fit in. They're not gonna fit in this frame. Yeah, work, 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 work. Upset manager. <laughs> They work you too hard though. Uh. Hmm. That obviously is very like deep. Yeah, that's good though. But yeah, obviously he didn't go he wouldn't have gone for it if he didn't think it'd help and yeah. Haha, <laughs> damn, we double burped. That's alright, we'll just next time I burp we'll just um member and um Kinky, yeah, you can do hiccups if I hiccup. If you wanna. Eventually we should do yawns because sometimes I'm just having like a... As soon as I mentioned yawning. <sighs> it's almost like it was like, oh, you're thinking about yawning? Here's one now. I nearly did it again, but I fought it. No yawn. You will not have this. Um, do we need two more twos? Yeah, two more twos and a two by three. Um, but yeah, does it take a while for that to kick in, Brett? Or are you finding like relief pretty quickly from it? I need to have my meds up to two. My Lamotrigine. Maybe my effects were as well. Oh, yeah, so it takes a little while. My Seroquel is, like, straight up. Like, I don't know what the opposite of extended release is, but... but that's good that you did feel it. But yeah, I, there's slow-release Seroquel as well, but I'm on the instant. Get it. <laughs> get it release. Yeah, get it. 
Okay, behave, Nano. Oh, you little block. Oh, how do we have that? It like that. And then the same on the other side, so it didn't matter. <laughs> hey, Avocado, how you doing? Remember that video, The Fifth Avocado? I only vaguely remember it. It was on like Weeble's place or something. How you doing? Yes. Yes, that's correct. And um clear ones. Ah, oh, that's good that you're good. Can't sleep is not as good, but is that a bit of a recurring thing for you, is it? I'm pretty good now. I always cheer up when I'm on Twitch. Talking to all you guys, the dream team, all you guys and gals. Hey, thank you. Welcome, Ark in the Black. I love how that gets so exciting now, thanks to Sky. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, 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 you cheeky nano block. Get in there. Don't even think about it. Ah, there we go. Okay. That is the first part of step two. And then these little knit two by twos. Oh yeah, I'm good, Avocado. I had um, not a bad day, actually. I just slept in and did all the things. I feel I do actually feel good on screen that I did my makeup. I haven't worn it for months, so I can feel it on my face, if that makes sense, Brett. Like, I don't know if you ever feel that if you, like, go for, like, weeks or months without wearing makeup and then you put it on and that's, like, I can feel it, like, sitting on my face. But, um, yeah, I feel pretty good. I won't be doing it every day, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you do, Sky. I bet you do better makeup than I do, too. <laughs> um, Hi, Ark in the Black. Welcome. Welcome to the dream team. You don't feel it as much as you have many layers. So you have more layers, so you don't feel it as much. Like, I did, what did I do? I did... Foundation, eyebrows, obviously, um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyeliner, hearts. I didn't do contouring on my cheeks. I just did blush, and then I did blush on my nose to get, like, a little, like, dull nose, but you can't really see it. Just light. <clears throat> and then contour down my nose a little bit, and then um, highlighter, like, shimmer down my nose, and, yeah. But that's about it. Like, that's pretty lazy. I didn't use concealer. That's really nice, Brett. And if it makes you feel, yeah, I just did a tight, like, really light contouring. You can tell when I turn my head that way. But I kind of contoured with blush a bit. Like, I did a lot more blush than you'd usually use, I guess. I like the look of that more because it makes me, like, feel like keep my paleness like I don't like to look too dark and bronzed um but yeah I did have like lip gloss on but then I had dinner um but yeah um my grandma always used to say like yeah like even if you're having a shit day or especially if you're having a shit day you know put put like your best lippy on and your best foot forward and yeah she is beautiful. Yeah. But yeah. 
I definitely like I didn't hate doing it, but it reminded me of when I was doing it every day and I was like, oh, I don't want to do this every day again. But um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the like looking, looking at myself with it on. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, that's, that's better than normal. Yes, mm, yes. I have a face. <laughs> yes, I do. I have a face. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow I'll probably back to be like back to being no makeup, but sometimes the blue stays in my eyebrows for a little while, like even if I scrub it, it kind of stains it. Which is good cuz then I have blue eyebrows for a few days even without makeup. Time. So if that goes there, I'm going to pick where I'm up to. Where did I put the pen? The pen, where did you go? I put it in the drawer. It's okay. Hey, Ecto's here. It's been a while, Ecto. How you doing? It's been some time. You know, I still am waiting for my Gengar to arrive. It's coming from China, so it's taking forever. Yeah, Ecto's cool. Oh, yeah, I'm all right. Um, yeah, did some things today. I had a big sleep in, and then when I woke up, I was like, I don't know if I can be doing, can be bothered doing anything. But then I was like, you know what? If I don't do anything, I'll feel worse. So I got up and I did the things that I usually do in the morning. And, um, yeah. Made me feel better. Now I feel better being online. Your grandma used to say she felt like she was shot at and missed shit at and hit. What? I am confused. My voice is different. Oh, it's probably because I'm streaming on my laptop now. Maybe. I don't know. My face is different because I put makeup on for the first time in forever. Oh, and also, yeah, I'm home, so I'm I'm probably talking way, yeah, different mic. But I'm also talking loud, and then I was in hospital. Um, I wonder if having the paper on does that change it? Because I had the paper on the laptop. Yeah, death's louder. But then when mum and dad go to bed, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be trying to um, talk quieter again. Oh, it doesn't make a difference, so I can put this back on the laptop. My brother actually messaged me today and he said he had some things that I could use for streaming. So I don't know what um, he meant by that, but he's coming around tomorrow to cook his dinner. Yay, Corgi Bot. <laughs> hey, Keyblade. I like the flying Corgi Bot up the screen. We need like at least five or seven of those all at once. That'd be amazing. Hey, Peaches. <laughs> oh, I'm so entertained by how Sky set this up. Yes. Yay! Look at all of them. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I'm home. It definitely helps. Look at all of those coggy butts. <laughs> but yeah, thanks, Ecto. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Just watching the emotes go. Yeah, I know, but it's still a good time. I wish it did all of those corgis, like, in chat. I don't know which way I'm pointing if it's flipping it. Hey! Aww. 
<laughs> if you have too many people, then spam it a lot. Is that bad? Does it do less than? Is that why the burp one didn't work as well? Five is enough num is is a nice number. It's enough, but not too little. I like the number seven. But five's not a bad number. Yeah. We don't want that. We don't. <laughs> Cult juice. Mmm, delicious. My cold juice is water right now. Hey! Yay! <laughs> Which witches? Hi, how are you doing? Just figuring out the next step to my nano blocks. You just go like this, turn around. Hey, that was a little hiccup. <laughs> Hi, but good. Did you work all day? Oh, you sweet little finger twirl. Get in there. Thank you. I did it for the first time in like ages. Hey, what's going on here? Something. Oh, no. Something is different about this. Maybe that was supposed to be there. Oh no, I gotta I gotta take this apart and start again. <laughs> you want everyone to see my Milo TikTok, don't you? <laughs> oh, did you in the Discord? If I go into Discord, will it ruin this stream? It shouldn't, hey. There's the selfies. There we go. Oh, damn, Sky. Oh, Brett, what a babe. <laughs> Just like looking <laughs> them eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's good. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, you guys are on point, <laughs> guys and gal, or gals and gals. <laughs> what well, you are, babe. <laughs> <laughs> that dog face. <laughs> Girls in Sky. Sky is an entity. <laughs> A magical entity. Eh, okay. So, I'm sure, yeah, that was supposed to be like that. Pretty much like a unicorn, yeah. And then this, or oh, this, eight. Hey. We need the four. I wonder how many times I'm going to have to redo this cinder quill because it's got like a floating bit in the middle, which makes it tricky. You are this guy. Everybody's favorite sky, the whole sky. Now, we have to go back. To the bottom of this one. The sky is falling. <laughs> Don't fall, sky. Uh, oh no, we need a two. Okay, cool. And then this one. Yes, yes, 
say this in the grill. Hey. And then this one. Yeah. Lucy. Oh, true. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Who's the diamonds? You guys. That's you guys. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> the other Skyler. I can't remember what movies that that's off where they're like maybe it's off community or something. And they're like that's the other whoever the name is. <laughs> ah oh praise the Corgi. Yes, Corgi butts. <laughs> Uh, okay, now that's the bottom step that I just had to redo, so if that bit goes there, then we have already oh, this. Oh, did you? Oh, wow. What did they say? It's, they, they didn't like it. I don't care. Yeah. I think family is the hardest, like, to get to, you know, accept the name change. <gasps> This thing is lying to me. Why are the instructions lying? Okay, I'm just gonna have to build it from the back. Get with the times, yeah. Um is it just your grandparents or is it your whole family that you'll use your old, old name? Exactly. I I definitely want to change mine like full legally. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true, Sky. We don't even want to know your old name. <laughs> it just wouldn't be right. Yeah, so that's correct. And everywhere. In here, like which which just says, in here and everywhere and especially in the sky. Whenever I look at the sky, I'm like, oh, hey, sky. <laughs> All about her old name and stuff. Yeah, I remember, like, she told me, but I forget what it is. I just see a... River, as river, yeah. Oh, no, your old, old name. Ah. You can see the back of my hair? Oh, can you? I thought you already could. <laughs> I was like, how are you seeing the back of my hair? Do a little... <laughs> ah okay so she still uses her birth name like i noticed she did tell me it once but i just forget thank you i just got it tied in like little knots knots in knots that's the good thing about dreads is you can just like tie it up without hair bands and stuff 
But yeah, thank you. You're a dobs. Now, send a quill. Best behave. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I can't even remember it right now, though. But she's always been river to me because, like, I don't know, I'm respectful of the whole, like, when you change your name and stuff. Ah, that's amazing. Her full name too, like, that's a naughty name. Now, these ones are still lying. I don't know where they're gonna join up, but this is fine. We'll just keep them there for future reference because I don't know how that will oh wait yeah I see I see I see <laughs> the instructions are lying I'm just looking at them wrong <laughs> yeah and then she's like oh I'm in trouble <laughs> is it oh is it mostly when she has a ciggy? <laughs> uh, mm, that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't even got the soda, I've got Walder. H2O gut. Okay, number three. I just put my pen back in my drawer. Okay, pen lives in the drawer now, guys. If I um I get where the pen is, just be like if you put it back in your drawer. <laughs> Up there Wednesday. There's something out under the window. Hey electromagnetic gamer. How you doing? Trying to make my heart look more perfect, but I keep going back. There we go. Uh, uh. Bello. And how you do? Yes, this is the first part of this. And oh, it's gonna be so cute. I love Cyndaquil. That's good, I'm glad. Very good to hear. Have you been up to much today or lately? Shouldn't have painted my nails like before I did. Well, I kind of needed to to do my little like music video clip DIY. But now the nail polish is getting all over the nano blocks. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to Cyndaquil. Oh, yes. Oh, we're going to have to start the rest of this from the back so I can line it up properly. So two by three in this dark blue. And um, single ones. One of these. 
Mm. Nailed it. And one of these. Totally nailing this one too. <laughs> Get on there. Okay, cool. The single ones are like the hardest to put on sometimes. But this must be his butt. Or her butt. It could be a female Cinderquill. I need two backwards. Yes. My right, full part Cinderquill. Yeah, she's getting more stable now. I'm pretty good actually. Um I slept in and then I felt like I wasn't sure if I wanted to get up when I woke up and I was like one of those like I don't know if I want to do anything today but then I was like nah just take Puka for a walk and see how you feel. So I did that and then I ended up doing most of the things I do every day I just didn't do them for as long like I just did a little bit of like whatever I felt like but um <coughs> Also, at the end of the day, I have, like, I tend to have all this, like, anxious, like, nervous, built-up energy. So, um, once I get on Twitch, that kind of goes away because I'm talking to all you guys. But, yeah, that's just part of, all, part of it all, part of the healing, I guess. And because there's been a lot of shade been thrown at me. Yeah. I want to roll with the burps, yeah. Maybe it's because I had a Milo. Because you remember how I was drinking like iced coffees before I'd stream when I was in hospital? Um, and that'd make me burp heaps. <laughs> That's so true. It's like actual, like physical shade instead of shade. Yeah, as in you, as in you just don't want to um like yeah do much chosen futurist. I've been meaning to wash my clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> the burps. But yeah, when I was drinking iced coffee, I think it's the dairy or fizzy drinks that make me burp. I just like looked over there because it sounded like my dog was vomiting. But it could have been like another animal. There's lots of animals out there. Ah, I did that the wrong way. Is that all supposed to fit? I guess some of it's like going to get joined by the next. Oh my god. Um last night there was a centipede out there. Like not too like just hanging around where I smoke my seed, just you know, waiting to bite someone. Ugh. But yeah. Australia. Not just spiders and snakes, centipedes too. But then in my head, I just heard that song, like, is it by, like, not Pendulum, oh, Knife Party. That Knife Party song that's like, do, 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 do. Then a piggy, do. <laughs> and then it drops. But I wasn't, like, super mad. It didn't bite me. Okay, and then there's this bit. So these bits all got to go together. There's this this bit is what I'm up to. That must be his butt. Her butt. I think it's a girl Cinderquill. But then these bits are just like floaty. So they've got to be joined on by the next step. I hate it when they do that. It really grinds my gears. 
I love corgi butts. Where have the corgi butts gone? More corgi butts. Okay, get the good sleep, Sky. You got a big day tomorrow. I hope they start treating you nicer at your work, even though you probably just bail on it when you get a better job, like a better, a nicer treating job. Take advantage of our Sky. Make our work way too hard. But yeah, good night. Have good sleeps. Or try to. Try to with your insomnia. Sending you sleepy vibes. Hey, George. <sighs> well, it kind of worked. It was like a half yawn. Kinker's still awake. Yeah. It must be late for Kinker. Why not? Why not yawning? You're supposed to go to sleep. I was trying to help you sleep. Don't even mention you wanting to roll. You want to get. Oops. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, the pen's in the drawer. The pen is in the drawer. I remember. Dream, aw, oh, too comfy to leave. That's nice. Thank you. I'm a yawner. Is that a bad thing? Ah, oh, damn it. I nearly get one again. I'm just fighting it. Stop saying yawning. It's like it's contagious, but like you don't even need to yawn. Hmm. One time. <laughs> You messaging me on something? <laughs> on something else? Multiple platforms saying no yawns. Now, I just. How is this all supposed to join up? I guess we will see. So we need. Three two by threes. I'm so confused. I thought Cyndaquil would be easy. And then what do we need? Two yellow two by threes. Maybe they do all join up and I'm just not seeing it yet. Hey, get back on there. And, um, may go there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see. I see how they're doing it. I see. So we need another two by three. And the blue. And go there. Oh, that's a good one. I see. Yeah, so that's the rest of the bottom bit of step three. Now we just need to put two twos and a oh. This accidentally went into Discord. 
Hmm. Well, thank you. Doing my burp. Another one of them. Mm, I have to get back to her afterwards. They're doing cinder quills now. Hanging with the dream team. Oh, so yeah, that's the end of step three. Starting to look cute. Are they supposed to be down there? No, I don't think so. I think that's supposed to hover. So we start at the front of this step. In the grill. Why so crazy? Oh. And then two, I don't know, I did that right, I thought I made a mistake then. Oh, I've got to think where I'm up to, otherwise I will make a mistake. Oh, I see what they're doing here. They're doing some cute little eyes. Eh. And then we'll go to a single little black one. Oh, I see that one. Oh, I know. Okay, we're good, we're good. The little feet stayed on. Um, okay, two yellow L. Yeah. And now two blue elves. Yeah. Definitely more sturdy than she was when I started now. And we want an orange one. Okay, so that's, there's still a bit more to go on the first part of step three, but they must stick on with the next because otherwise they'll be floating again. That two by three. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, now we're going to do the next bit of step three. Yep. Now two by two. All right. Yes, well, to this step. <laughs> I always confuse myself. Yes. I have my little footsies. Two, three, yellow. Ah, no, you're so cool, Brett. <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> I'm not very good at compliments. I used to be like, ow, compliments hurt. <laughs> but thank you. You are equally as cool. So. We're just cool together. <laughs> We're all cool. All of you guys are cool, my dream team. My little dream team. Bam. Bam, bam. These are the cool ones for hanging around and chilling with me. Yeah, I'm slowly getting better, like... Twitching. Some oh. people might say it want to say good night. All right, good night. Mom says good night to everybody in Twitch land. Just wait a second. Good night, Mama Pixie from Brett. Good night, Brett. Good night, Brett. <laughs> uh, Kin says good night, Mama Pixie. Good night. He said Kin. And Witch Witches says night, Mom. Night, Witch Witch. Love you all. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> mm. <laughs> and so I was like, just wait in case somebody wants in some in case people want to say goodbye. Oh, Clever Dog missed out. Clever Dog says good night too. He says good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, I want to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, she loves it too. She's like, I'm glad you have friends on there. And I, I'm like, yeah, it's all very like good positive environment, not one of those like trolley streams. And she's like, yeah, it sounds like it's very good for you. She's like, I'm glad you're making friends. Now this must be how the rest of the four fits in with this bit. These clear ones, like they really clip in good. They're very satisfying. And the two by three. Um and that would mean oh maybe this is where I put that on. That would mean those two go in here. Getting better at these floaty bits. In. Don't, don't, don't make a fool out of me. <laughs> oh, really? 
Oh my god, which witches, you're beautiful. What a babe. I'm just gonna be like, hmm. Oh, hey, Clubber Dang. Where are you there? That looks cool as. <laughs> You are. That's a really pretty picture. <laughs> You're like me. It's like, oh, it's just this. That's not. <laughs> At least you're not like, ow, compliments hurt. <laughs> London. Yeah, that's awesome. You definitely don't look your age either, Clubber Dang. You look younger. But age is just a number, as we were saying. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's fine. So. This bit. This bit. London Town. <laughs> um, yeah, so that bit goes there. Mm, get in there. Yeah. Well, that's clipped in real good. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased, but everybody in the dream team is amazingly beautiful in their own way. I think it's also, like, good vibes as well. Like, I can tell, like, especially after talking to you guys for a while, like, um... Yeah, like, oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Exactly. Like, I can tell that you're all beautiful souls as well. So it's like, it's not just being biased. It's like, beauty runs more than skin deep, you know? You're all amazing people. So kind. Is that what we needed in the bottom one? So. Okay. A little bit confused. <laughs> I feel like I look like a potato most days too. But that, it's also because I just feel like I like potato around. And I'm just like, meh, potato fish. So I think I overdid, yeah, I overdid that last step. It just needed those and three little L's. And then the next step, that's where this, oh, yeah, okay. That goes there. I see what's happening here. Oh, that's really good. That's like a huge compliment. But it's not just a compliment to me. It's a compliment to like all of you guys as well, you know. It's like all of our community. Oh, no, what have I done wrong here? Oh, no, no, we're fine with her. <laughs> I just need two more L's. <laughs> hugs. Yeah, hugs for the whole dream team. Group hug. We're adorable. <laughs> I 
Okay, now I think I've got that right this time. Oh, sorry, Cinderquill. Yeah, that goes that way. And these come out this way. <laughs> oh, same. Like, especially after the stuff that I went through last year. Like, I think we all do at times, but... Like, you guys are amazing, so d definitely never doubt yourself. I know that's harder, like, it's easier said than done. But it's the same with me. Like, it depends on the day. Like, oh, oh they don't want to stay. I'll try a different L shape. It does depend on the day with me. Like, some days I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Like, I'm all right. But... I rarely have confident days, you know. Why you no want to fit in there? Why you no do it? Ugh. Just this stubborn little piece. Like, I don't want to fit in, don't they? Yeah. Okay, let's take that whole bit off. Ah. I don't know why those are just so loose. Maybe if we try two other L's, they'll fit better. Right. Yeah. Oh, this, honestly, this community helps my, like, you guys all help my self-esteem, to be honest. Like, some days I'm like, why would anybody, like, really want to sit there and watch me do this? But then you guys all come in, and you're all awesome, and then we all have a great time, and, yeah. That's me questioning it. Oh, yeah, her foot came off. All good, Cinderquill. We got you. Yay! On to step five. I'm going to be a bit quieter now because mum and dad are trying to sleep. Even though I'm very, very excited to be chatting. Um, Like, I've struggled with body dysmorphia, even though, like, I, like, look tiny. Like, um, I'm only finally getting healthy now. And then as soon as I get to a fully healthy weight, that's when I start being like, oh, I hate my arms. Like, I feel like I look ratty when I don't wear makeup but that's why I've been trying to be more comfortable in my skin by not wearing makeup when I'm on here and just in general since I went into hospital like I do feel nice that I put it on today but I don't want to have to wear it every day again because I wouldn't leave the house unless I had makeup on um and it was just a lot of energy to put into my looks every day um yeah, like, body dysmorphia is, like, more common than people think. And it's really hard to um to deal with because you look in the mirror and you don't see yourself as you are. Like, I, when I was going through all that stuff in Melbourne, I was still looking at myself and I was so sick and so tiny and I still felt like I needed to lose weight. My head was, like all over the place though but it just made my body just more feel worse yeah I got the same way Brett and then like yeah it's like I got so used to wearing it that then I hated the way I looked without it so um but then yeah I went into hospital and I didn't want to wear it every day like I went into hospital a few times I didn't want to wear it every day and um when I'm feeling more like like male fluid like I obviously don't wear makeup and um that's helped a little bit as well I haven't that's why I haven't worn it for so long it's like you know like I love the fact that we can wear makeup but like manly men don't need makeup 
you know so like we don't need it but like when I like to wear it I'd like to wear it you know like but I don't want to feel like I need it um but I did um I did always felt feel like I needed it like to go to work and stuff like that like um I know that there are a lot of men that like enjoy and and boys that like enjoy wearing makeup and that's beautiful but like yeah, I don't think anyone should have to feel like they need makeup, you know. That was part of my mask that I was, like, hiding my pain and stuff in, like, if that makes sense. You feel me, yeah. But, yeah, when I go back to work, I don't want to feel like I have to wear makeup there. Like, I want to just, you know in me because like I'd go if I went to work at my old job without makeup after wearing it every day people would be like oh are you sick and that's like the worst thing to hear when you just want to be you know kind of not like you don't want the topic touched on usually when when you're having a day like that because it's usually like a day where you don't want people to notice. But yeah, I think it's fun when you're not dependent on it and I'm starting to really like enjoy not being dependent on it. But I was very dependent on it. No, don't even think about it. Send a quill. Listen to me. That little piece again in her tail. Hmm. That's the best I can do for now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least they know not to ask about it, like, and, um, because, like, you know, they're aware that it's not a comfortable conversation. Um, so that's quite respectful, at least. Um, and I'm sure maybe over time, you know, like, I know it's, it's gotta be, like, like, harder than, like, my whole, like, with like being like realizing I'm fluid um which like especially if I told someone that today with makeup on they'd be like whatever um but yeah the whole dysphoria feeling like I can't imagine how hard that would be like feeling so disconnected um but yeah that's your like total right to not want to talk about it and um yeah, you know, just get on with your life and what you're doing and, yeah. Because I'm sure most people, like, if they just see you down the street, they wouldn't even know that you're trans. They would just, you know, especially at this point, um, I'm sure you've come a long way, but, like, yeah, like, you're a beautiful female, regardless of what you felt in the past, you know? And it doesn't matter what people think that, you know, that's another thing that I've been trying to practice and learn is if they don't have love or, uh, yeah, it's true though. Um, I'm just telling the truth, not just a compliment. Um, but if people don't have love for you or you don't know them, like, I've been trying to practice the whole don't give them any energy, don't waste your energy on people like that. Um, if they are kind and, you know, like being, oh, beauty culture is a bitch. And that's why I wanted to free myself a bit from it and not have to wear makeup. And the only reason I really put makeup on today was to film 
a video clip, like, DIY style. But, um, yeah, like, I, I definitely don't want to go back to wearing makeup every day. <laughs> it's, um, it's exhausting. And I can still feel it on my face. Oh, that's okay, Kinky. Um, I hope you have good sleeps. I'm glad that we like we're that comforting that you um that you started dozing off. <laughs> Sweet dreams. We'll chat to you soon. See, everyone on here is so supportive, even to the point where everyone's like, good night. I love it. I love it so much. It's like very healthy atmosphere. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Brett. I don't want you to be overtired. Um, you got to get the rest. <laughs> Ah, the emotes. So cute. Good night, Kinka. Yeah, thanks so much for opening up, Brett. Like, I know, like, I hope we do make you feel like. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I hope we do feel, make you feel comfortable about all this kind of stuff, but yeah. But just tell them the truth, you know? You are special. You are very special. You're not just a beautiful lady, but you are a beautiful soul. And yeah so supportive of not only me but everybody else on here and I just I love you so much <laughs> very grateful to have you guys guys and girls I say guys as a blanket term but then I like always politically correct myself I used to do that, it's because I used to work in retail, like, and even if girls came in, I'd be like, hey guys, what are you doing? It's an old habit. Oh. But even then I used to get in trouble and they'd be like, and um, I think my manager was like, try and say, hey ladies. And I'd be like, I feel like I'm hitting on them. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's beautiful. That's awesome. See, Brett's so supportive, like, so grateful to have her on here. And, um, yeah, I'm glad you got to open up um, to her and, like, chat about something like that that you guys have fully in common. Like, I think being fluid is a whole other thing, like, I don't feel connected. I mean, I don't feel as disconnected. It's almost like I feel connected to both genders, like just like non non binary, but both. Like it's hard to explain, but um, dysphoria must be really hard. Like because it's a full disconnection, and feeling disconnected to anything is rough. But yeah, I'm glad you guys had a good chat on Discord. Never feel, like, um, self-conscious about posting anything in our, like, Discord because everyone's going to be, like, yeah, fluid is a weird thing. Like, it's, like, it, it's hard to explain because some people are, like, oh, like, is it, like, split up into days or, but it's almost like I'm kind of both all the time. Like, right now it's, like, I'm a girl that's put on makeup but I'm also, like, like there's a uh, there's a part of me that's a girl that has put on makeup and feels pretty but there's also a part of me that's a boy that's like always wanted to try you know putting on makeup 
and and really enjoys it like almost more in- exciting like for that side of it it's like both both sides of me like if you like split them up like personalities like I sometimes refer it to like Link and Navi like they work together really well and um like I was always a tomboy as a girl um but then when I went through all this it was like yeah I can still do the girly things but like there's a lot more of me that's a boy now it's so weird like <laughs> Yeah, Lincoln Navi. And there's also a part of me that's like kind of trapped in a castle like Zelda. Like um yeah, it's weird. <laughs> that's why I use those um names like as like my alters, you know? But yeah. Um I think like the trauma that I went through helped me realize it, honestly. Like, it's so weird that so much growth can come from trauma. It sucks that sometimes that's what's caused it, but it doesn't, the trauma doesn't define us and um, it does make us stronger. <laughs> Just to uh, brighten up the convo with the burp. Okay, these ones are hard to find. Okay. <laughs> Seven times. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, I mean, the world's a scary place and no one can be protected against everything forever, you know. Um, but it's so true that what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And I really believe that we're all here for a reason. Um, and a purpose, like whether it be to inspire other people or to actually do a job, you know, we're all here for something. Especially our little dream team. <laughs> Not biased or anything. Hey, Rico, I love you. I love you too, witch witches, <laughs> so much. How you doing, Rico? Welcome to tonight for tonight's stream. Green Cynical, I'm not actually too far off finishing it. There's just like a few steps left of her little flames. Oh, tired, big day at work, Rickle. Ooh, this one's an interesting piece. Nice. Okay, we're up to step six. <laughs> hey, thanks for following Twenty Three Kingdom. I love all the buckles and emotes. Yeah, I put my elf ears on and I put some makeup on my face today. Felt like doing a bit of a um activity. I mean, I like I did a bit of a DIY film clip to a cover that I recorded recently. So I've just got to edit it over the next few days, and um yeah, you guys will be able to see it on YouTube. I think I did well recording it. It's just like. The editing might take a little while to choose, like, the best bits that I recorded. Have you guys ever heard the Mario Kart love song? The Mario Kart love song? Oh, thanks, 23 Kingdom. Yeah, I've got heaps, hey. And, like, this isn't the extent of all of my plushies. Like, I need to unpack more of my boxes from moving up from Melbourne before I got out of hospital. Um... And, um, like, there's so many of them in, in boxes. I can't wait to get. And pops as well. Like, I've got plushies and pops and more crystals and heaps of stuff in boxes and so much clothes too that I haven't unpacked. 
So it can only grow. And I can't wait to get this Adventure Time poster on the leg. Yeah. Or maybe like down, like in between the desk. So it's like not a little part. It's something like that. But yeah. Yeah, I did a TikTok today too. <laughs> so this guy's promoting my TikTok to get it more views. So it doesn't go, what do you call it when the TikTok get, stops getting views and it goes, oh, so it doesn't flop. <laughs> Thank you, Sky. You know what's funny is um, when I was in Melbourne, I was the first person out of our little group of friends, including my ex, um, to start doing TikToks and I really started getting into them. And then when we broke up, I was too devastated to, you know, put on the makeup that I felt I needed for TikToks, which I've done a few without makeup. I think I've done at least one or two without makeup, which I'm going to keep doing. Because as I said, I don't like being feeling like I have to rely on makeup. Um, but where was I going with the story? Um, my ex decided to make it this huge, like, competition because... He is a bit of a misogynist, um, nihilist manipulator, pretty much. And then, um, yeah, he, like, made it his mission to beat me on TikTok with views because I'd had a video that had, like, 170,000 views or something. And um, it's almost like he was threatened by that. It's like, oh, she can't outdo me at anything. How dare she? And then after the breakup, he just went ham on TikTok and then apparently has heaps of heaps more followers now than me, which I don't care. I don't like to compete with people. I'm just, I just always did it for fun, you know. He, honestly, he is horrible. I was talking to one of my friends last night about him and um, he was a friend I had well before I met him and he was just like, <clears throat> yeah, it really confused me that you were in a relationship because to me you were always just not, you know, not into that. And I was like, that's a hundred percent right. Like, um, and I, I was, I honestly think it was just because I was in such a vulnerable place when I met him to begin with, and he wanted to make me his little fries, which sucked. Damn you, Santa Claus! Why are you so hard? <clears throat> but yeah, and um, honestly, the worst thing I'm like, I don't care what you do to me. Yell at me, like fucking hit me, whatever. But don't hit my fucking cat or my dog. You know, like do not hit my cat. And um, yeah, he did that once. He also manipulated me into a threesome, making me feel like it was all about me but it was just so he could fuck this other girl um who I thought was attractive I'm like I still had a good time but I could tell you know when you can tell that kind of energy between two people it's like you guys wanted this to happen because you guys just wanted to um get together and that is not right but yeah really good thing is in the past thank you with twitches let's just Focus on that. He's not here. He's a long way away now, and I don't need to deal with that energy or anybody from down there's energy. I got you guys. <laughs> Did I tell you he got, he like, was really rude about that like I I was so proud of my male Tiger King drag um oh yeah yeah you comfy Brett um I don't know if I told you this I might have told Brett or something yeah Carol Baskin um yeah I was so proud of my Tiger King drag it's still on TikTok um and YouTube <clears throat> but <clears throat> He was like, what did he say? He's like, I can't even look at you, like, because my male drag was so good and I was so proud of it. Like, um, what, what's the dude's name? Like, um, 
Joe Exotic. Um, and yeah, he was so rude about it. Like, but I was so proud, so I didn't care. And the dance was fun too, because it was like slightly different to that that savage dance, and I'd done the savage dance before too. <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> Literally, he was so uncomfortable, like, I think, yeah, like, I don't think, I don't know if it made him question his sexuality, but I think <clears throat> it made him question whether he was dating a dude or a girl, because, like, I had such, um, like, male tendencies as well, as female ones, like. I was always a tomboy, but I think he always just saw me as a tomboy instead of instead of like fluid. And then when I did my Joe Exotic drag get up, he was like, "Oh wow, she's definitely not just a girl. Like I'm dating a dude and a girl at the same time." And yeah, he was like insecure about that. How are you, Twenty Three Kingdom? <laughs> in bed watching, watching Pixie so spiffy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use my, like, bedtime voice because my, oh, well, because Brett's in bed and also we're nearly finished Cinderquill and Mum and Dad are trying to sleep now. So this is my, like, calming bedtime. Bedtime. <laughs> As in, like, mixing music? <clears throat> I wish I could smoke a bowl right now. Nice. I'm definitely keen to hear what you've been saying. And the cool this keeps having bits falling off her. Who says little baby? Little baby friend of her. Yeah, Def's keen to hear what you are, like, the the music that you are creating, 23 Kingdom. Oh, how dare you look at Cinderquin. Cinderquin. <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. Um, so, there's only two more to put on, and they go... There and there. Oh, not a blue one. <laughs> and this one. Are you Kingdom on YouTube? And then, like, um, oh, you've been mixing other people. Maybe I should get you to mix my stuff because <laughs> I just do it all myself by ear and, um, yeah. Do you master? Because that's one thing I don't do. Definitely not. Definitely not well. I don't even try. I know you can do it on. Ah. We should um collaborate on some stuff. I don't have much good gear. I'm just adding a few more pieces to send a coil because I can. I want her flame to be. Oh. Hey, that's awesome, Brett. Um, do you want to share what your TikTok is on here or just in Discord so I can give you a follow? And um, 23 Kingdom, Def's keen to um, hear what you're saying. I always wanted to learn, like, and at the moment I guess I've been making music to, as a bit of an exercise to try and teach myself how to become a producer. Like, but vocal, like, producing is probably my weak point. 
Who do you think? I made a flame a little bit bigger than the instructions because I thought that would be cool. She's so cute, hey. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. Oh. YouTube. Um, on there you'll find the stuff that I'm making lately. There's two playlists that have got my music in, but the stuff that I've been trying to produce like lately by myself and teach myself how to be like a producer, engineer, etc. Um is all under the project Music for Deities. Um, I'm pretty chill. I try to be chill. But yeah, and then there's some of my old stuff. Um, like all of my music is under Emo Pixie Music, like including Music for Deities. But it's got like stuff from my old bands, some really raw live covers that I've just like smashed out on my guitar with a camera in front of me. But over the next few days, I've got one new original song to release, which I would like to hear your thoughts on it because to me, I'm almost like it feels like it's too busy, but the emotions that I was putting into it is like it was such strong emotion that I wanted to keep all those loops and samples in there. So, yeah. That one's going to be called um, Inertia Recoil, um, but it'll be up in a few days. Um, and I will also have done like a more professional live recording of a cover that I did a video clip to today. So that will probably be up maybe three, three or four days later. Well, yeah, like I've got some pop punk stuff. Like you'll see there's a Taylor Swift pop punk cover. Um, and like it's like or pop punk indie. There's two originals from my old band Ame Tormente, which means tor tormented, tortured soul, tormented soul, um, in French. Um, and what else? Just a few covers, yeah. Your your music is emo. It's that's my favorite. Hey, Sh Chungju, I'm so sorry I didn't say hey the first time. How are you doing? Oh, no, don't go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm pretty much done anyway. So I'll probably be jumping off now. But, yeah, Chungju, welcome. I'm sorry that I didn't say hello to you straight away. It's been a while since I've seen you. I hope you're doing do I hope you're doing good. Um and yeah, 23 Kingdom, let me know what you think. Um this is our Discord. I can do this, can't I? Discord. Yeah. So you can join our Discord too, both you and Chungju if you want to Chungju. Um, but let me know what you think of my musics and um especially the music for deities ones that I produced myself. The other stuff has better producing because, like, like, we went and saw a, like, yes, join us. Join us. <laughs> join the others. <laughs> oh, Kinke. I'll check that before we jump off. Hey, Kinke. Oh, look how cute we all are. We're all adorable. I just, oh, I love, I love our dream team. Just Rickle has spoken. <laughs> Join the other. I just remember, like, watching, not only, like, Join Us, like, Join the Dark Side, but that movie Death at a Funeral where he's got the toilet paper. And he's like, yeah, Join the Others. <laughs> he's just, like, a big pile of toilet paper. Anyway. I'm going to jump off now. Um, oh, that's a great idea, Rickle. <laughs> uh, it is the most adorable dark side you will ever see in your life. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. 
either about the same time or maybe earlier if I've got if I've got a bit of extra time. Um, yeah, and I'll chat to you on Discord as well. So yeah, have a good night, everybody, and have good sleeps. And for those that's daytime, have a good day. And join us. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, sleep well, everyone. Sweet dreams. And I'll see you all tomorrow or the next day, whenever you guys pop in, you know. Yeah, bye. Thanks. Love you all.